Good day, students. Welcome to our subject in PS5 in Real Estate Planning and Development. In this video lecture, uh, we're going to discuss the planning authorities in the Philippines as part of our lesson in Introduction to Planning, Zoning, and Development Urban and Rural Land Use. So, in this discussion, we're going to discuss the national level regional level, and local level of the planning authorities. So, let's begin our lesson. In the national level, the National Economic and Development Authority was traces its beginning in the creation of its forerunner, the National Economic Council. So, this is under the Commonwealth Act Number 2 that was approved by the National Assembly on, 23, on December 23, 1935-1935. The National Economic Council's principal mandate was to advise the national government on the formulation and adoption of a state economic program which is based on the policy of national independence. The finance secretary at the time was appointed the acting chairman. In 1943, during the Second World War, while the country was under the Japanese occupation, a national planning board was created, which is under the Executive Order Number 1. But this was replaced by the Economic Planning Board, created under the Executive Order Number 46 of 1944, which is tasked to recommend measures for the economic development. After the war, in response to the recommendation of the Government Reorganization Committee, the National Economic Council was reconstituted in 1947 under the Executive Order Number 94 of 1947, which is to serve as the government's center of national economic planning. However, a period of inactivity was followed when the National Economic Council personnel were detailed on the Philippine Council for United States Aid, or PILCOSA, which was organized in 1950 as part of the Quirino Foster Agreement on the United States Assistance for the Philippine Development. A new National Economic Council was created under the Executive Order 119 of 1995. A new National Economic Council was created under Executive Order 119 of 1955, pursuant to RA 997 of 1954, which is thereby replaced the old National Econo Economic Council even as the Philcosa was abolished under the same Executive Order 119. The new National Economic Council now included an Office of National Planning. The new National Economic Council now included Office of National Planning of Office of Foreign Aid Coordination and the Office of Statistical Coordination and Standards Uh, and, office of Na uh, and the Office of Statistical Coordination and Standards. In 1960, under the RA 2699, the membership of the National Economic Council was increased. In 1962, the Program Implement Agency, headed by a Director General of Cabinet Front, was created under the Executive Order 17 to implement the government's socioeconomic program, and to undertake economic planning as well. And pursuant to RA 5435 of 1968, which authorized the Office of the President of the Philippines to reorganize the executive department and the different government agencies, the Integrated Reorganization Plan of March 1972 and was submitted to Congress. 
It provided for the creation of a National Economic Development Authority, and this was realized the following year with the issuance of President Decree Number 107 that was dated on 24th of January 1973, creating the National Economic and Development Authority, which is commonly known as NEDA. With the creation of the NEDA, the functions of various socioeconomic bodies created by past administration were now integrated under one government agency. In 1987, the NEDA was reorganized under the Executive Order Number 230. The National Historical Commission on the Philippines affirms NEDA's founding date on December 23, 1935. Next, let's discuss the regional level. What is the Regional Development Council? The Regional Development Council, or RDC, is the highest planning and policy-making body in the region. It serves as the counterpart of the National Economic and Development Authority. Uh, at, it serves as the counterpart of the NEDA board at the sub-national level. It, it, it is the primary institution that coordinates and set the direction of all economic and social development efforts in the region. It also serves as a form where the local efforts can be relayed and integrated with regional and national development activities. The creation of the Regional Development Council answers the need for a single planning body whose main concern is the overall socio-economic development of the region. This was an offshoot of the implementation of the Integrated Reorganization Plan of 1972, which divided the country into administrative regions. Regional development planning is necessary to address the uneven economic and social development in our country. This, this stems from the recognition that growth advancement over the years remain unevenly or unevenly distributed and that progress has been concentrated in few regions. In recent years, the local autonomy has brought to the fore the need to empower the local chief executives and officials to spearhead the development in their respective jurisdictions. This strengthens and complements the vital role of the Regional Development Council in coordinating the local initiatives that could further accelerate the socio-economic development of the region. So, who is leading the Regional Development Council? So, the Regional Development Council is jointly headed by a chairperson and a co-chairperson appointed by the President of the Philippines. If the chairperson comes from the government, the co-chairperson must come from the private sector or vice versa. Only elected officials are appointed as chair or co-chairperson. The NEDA Regional Director is the ex-official vice chairperson of the Regional Development Council, while the NEDA, Assistant Regional Director, is the ex-official secretary. The same officials serve as the ex-official chairperson, co-chairperson, vice chairperson, and secretary of the Regional Development Council, executive, and advisory committee. The terms of office of these officers with regular term of local elected officials. 
the prescribed term of office is without prejudice to the appointment. The Regional Development Council undertake the following functions as provided for in Executive Order Number 325 as amended. First is to coordinate the preparation, implementation, the monitoring, and also the evaluation of short and long-term regional development plans and investment programs, regional physical framework plan, and also the special development plans. Second is to formulate the policy recommendations. The third is to integrate approved development plan of provinces and cities, line agencies, state universities and colleges, government-owned and controlled corporations and special development authorities in the region in to the regional development plan. And also to review, prioritize, and endorse to the national government the annual and multi-year investment programs of the regional line agencies for funding and implementation. Fifth is to review, endorse to the national government the annual budget of agencies, regional offices, state colleges, and universities, and special development authorities. The sixth is to promote and direct the inflow and allocation of private investments in the region to support regional development objectives, policies, and strategies. The seventh is review and endorse national plans, programs, and projects proposed for implementation in the regions. And uh, the eighth is required by the Investment Coordination Committee of the NEDA Board and review and endorse projects of national government agencies and local government units that have impact on the region and projects of LGUs in the region requiring a national government financial exposure, which may come in the form of guarantees, national government budget, appropriations, or subsidies, among others. Next is initiate and coordinate the development uh, at the same time, funding and implementation of regional and special development projects such as those involving a several agencies or local government units. Next is coordinate and uh, also monitoring and evaluation of the development projects undertaken by the government agencies. The local government unit, the state colleges and universities, government-owned and controlled corporation and special development authorities in the region. Lastly, it performs on other related functions and activities as may be necessary to promote and sustain socio-economic development of the region. 